Hi, and welcome back to our blog. I am Jim Cuervo, your senior instructor here at Digital Drafting Systems. Today's topic will be our second installment for our Revit to 3D Max on Arnold Workflow Part 2 in the series, dealing with lighting as they relate to the Arnold Render Engine. Let us begin. Now, as we look at this preliminary render image, we notice a little light coming from the imported light fixtures right in here. These light fixtures are producing a little bit of a yellowish tint in here. It's hardly noticeable because of the amount of light coming in. So let us go ahead and improve this particular interior lighting first. We'll go ahead and select the particular uh, light. Okay, we'll see that it is a recessed light. It is a what's called photometric web deployment using the whitewash uh, wall wash LED so why don't we go ahead and change that to uh, this one right here which is a little wider in the in its disbursement so I'll say open that okay we see that all of them are changing because in reality what these lights are now in 3d studio max are basically they are um, instances of one another so whatever you do to one that you do to all so it, this for this reason i'm able then to control all of them through just one so the first thing is i change the type of light that it is or the distribution of it then i come over here and in the in the dimming resulting intensity i'm changing that 100 to 600 okay and hit the enter key now all of these lights are now not only photometrically uh, using the FLH A, uh, 1A19, but also their intensity has risen to 600. With that said, let's go ahead and do a small test render here. And let's see how it's happening. Very well, this looks pretty good. We see that we have a lot better uh, influence of the interior lights on, the, on our interior scene but unfortunately our exterior light is still a little bit bright so why don't we go ahead and fix that problem let's go ahead now into the uh, select by name and I've got just the lights being listed for me these are all of the 3d uh, rather the Revit lights that we imported earlier and this particular one right here is the single light that we placed earlier now by selecting that OK, we'll now go into the controls of the Sky Dome, which is what that was. And we'll see that the intensity is a bit high. Let's go ahead and put something really low. We are shooting for like a dusk type of scene where we, we can still see the exterior, but we also see the interior in both lighting effects on interior and exterior, creating a nice balance through the scene. So let's go ahead and make that intensity level for the exterior light at 0.5 okay maybe uh, hit the exposure to maybe a um, a, a 7 okay 0 0.0 okay which is uh, intensity of 64 in the in the uh, in the um, uh, um, normalization of the of the numbers okay and we'll go ahead and create another render to see where we are with that As we can see, the lighting is much, much better. We have much better definition of the interior, a lot less noise, although we do still have a lot of noise happening here. Okay, as I said, this creates a nice balance between exterior lighting and interior lighting, creating a much more appealing view in 3D Studio Max. Although it is still very grainy, not to worry, we will deal with that in our last installment dealing with the render engine settings a fundamental view next we'll be looking at materials this is the end of our lighting blog inside 3d max hope you enjoyed it till the next one see you later be safe